With the holiday vacation week approaching, parents have been flying up to me asking me if there's anything I can do to reduce their child's ear discomfort when they're on an airplane. Well, let me take off on that topic and provide some information. When a plane flies into the air, air pressure inside the plane's passenger cabin decreases. And when a plane descends, air pressure increases. Although airline cabins are designed to not have passengers feel significant pressure changes in their ears, well, sometimes they can and they do occur. This pressure can be equalized or reduced between the outside and inside of the ear by opening the tube between the eardrum and the back of the nose. That popping sensation you sometimes hear or feel in your ears as the plane is landing often means that the tube is opened and pressure that has built up is relieved or normalized. So how do you open that tube between the ear and the nose to reduce the pain of built up air pressure on those ears? Well, here are some suggestions. Have your child drink lots of fluids during the flight. Swallowing keeps the tube between the ear and the nose open and equalizes pressures constantly so they don't build up. If your child is an infant, breast or bottle feed your baby if they wake up while the plane is coming up or going down, although many infants never show signs of discomfort going up or down in an airplane. Acetaminophen taken before the flight can also help reduce the sensation of pain your child or baby may experience with pressure changes. If your child is over three, chewing gum keeps the muscles in those tubes open, similar to swallowing repeatedly. Use of earplugs or earbuds will also prevent the outside increased pressure in the cabin from pushing against your child's eardrum if your children are willing to keep those earplugs or earbuds in their ears. Another idea is to try to have your child yawn frequently if they're able to. Often watching someone else yawn will make your child yawn too. If the ear pain after a flight is not better within a few hours, it's worthwhile to check with your child's healthcare professional to make sure that there's not something else going on, like an ear infection occurring, so that they can prescribe other medicines that may help. So that hopefully, tips like this will make your concerns about flying and ear pain be ear today and gone tomorrow, the next time you and your children plan to take a flight. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis first from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital, wishing everybody the happiest of holidays, the happiest of vacations, and to always be first with your kids.